Why do burglar alarms go off in a power cut? In a power cut, there are two type, there are two waves of burglar alarms. For the purpose of this video, we shall call these waves the immediate wave and the response wave. In a power cut, the immediate wave will ring straight away, whilst the response wave does not. In this video, we will talk about why this happens. Right, so I've read you my um, paragraph there. And what this is, that I, my, well, my neighbour's alarm went off the other day because the power went out. So I'm just going to talk about what happens. Right. So, like I said in the thingy, there's two types of waves. There's the immediate, well, it's what I like to call them. There's the immediate wave and there's the response wave. The response wave goes off when the power, right, okay, the immediate wave goes off as soon as the power goes. So as soon as the power cuts out, the immediate wave of alarms will ring. And then when the power is restored, they will stop. And literally one or two seconds later, the response wave will start sounding. And the response waves are the ones that when the power goes out they don't ring but as soon as the power comes back on they do so in this video we'll talk about why this happens so I've got two bell boxes down here and the these this one is more common to the immediate wave as this has a circuit board inside inside of it and it has a built-in backup battery Whereas this old style bell box does not. This only has a siren in it. So this is going to be part of the response wave. So many immediate wave bell boxes will look like this. And many response wave bell boxes will look like this. Now. So. I've drawn on two alarms here. There's a new ADT bell box. And an MCA alarms. Old bell box. So anyway. Um, we'll talk about first the immediate wave. So what happens is, in an alarm system, most new alarm systems, in the bell box there's a backup battery which is rechargeable, which the system charges by itself, the system automatically charges that battery, and there's a panel battery, this one. Which, should re which is in the control panel now this battery should be replaced once every five years and it is rechargeable but some control panels don't charge that one up so this bell box here which is a new ADT bell box has a built in battery so when this battery in the panel dies the panel loses power. Now as this bell box has a built in battery it will see this as a tamper and the bell box's built in battery will make the alarm ring so when the power goes out the new alarm system will ring the, old, the new bell box so the panel will die all the power will go to the panel but outside as soon as the power cut starts the bell box will ring because it thinks there's a tamper. So in that case what it is is this panel battery is dead but the bell box battery is still working so that's what causes the alarm to still sound because the bell box battery works. Right so now we've covered the new alarm systems, we'll move on to the old ones. So we've covered so far that new alarms go off because the control panel battery is dead and they go off in the power cut. So, we'll talk about the old alarms now and why they go off in the power cut. So. Old alarms, most, like, well, I've tried to draw there, I've tried to draw that, 
Now, this spell box does not have a circuit board in with a built-in backup battery. So, when the power goes, there's only one backup battery in a system like this, and that's that one in the main panel. So when the battery in the main panel dies, um, in the power cut, the panel battery is dead, and the control panel batteries often look a lot like this. Now, when the, pa the panel battery dies and there's a power cut, the alarm won't get power from anywhere, so it can't sound. So it'll be silent. But when the power is restored, and the panel comes back to life, it will go into tamper. So then, the response wave of alarms will sound. So just as the immediate wave of alarms finishes, the response wave starts to sound. So... In the, in, at the start of the power cut, this will ring off its own backup battery, but this older one that doesn't have a backup battery will be silenced. But then, the power comes back on, this one will stop, because it's already been going off and it's got a backup battery, and the power's back on, so that one will then stop ringing. But this one, like I said before, does not have a backup battery, and this alarm box will ring when the power comes back on. So, you have to then put in your code and it'll stop. But obviously many people are at work and they don't get round to that and the old alarms don't usually have a bell cut off. Well, some of them don't, so they can ring for a long time, which is very annoying. So, that, that's literally how it is. So, in the, in the last case, really, what causes them to ring, the old style ones, is because there's no bell box battery and the panel battery is dead. So when the power comes back on into the control panel, the alarm will go off. Now, believe it or not, <laughs> there is a type of alarm that works properly. Now, this is most new alarms, like new ones that have been installed in the last five years. The new alarms have a battery in the bell box and usually a working battery in the panel because the alarm's just been installed. So when the power goes, what should happen is the, pa the battery in the panel will start to work and give power to the panel so then the bell box battery doesn't make it tamper. I'm trying to explain this here, now it can be a bit hard to understand but the battery in the panel is supposed to power the system whilst there's no power. Whilst there's no mains power, the backup battery in the panel is supposed to power the burglar alarm so that it doesn't go off. So ideally, if everything was working correctly, that would kick in when the mains power went off. So the bell box wouldn't sound because it, would it would still detect power coming from the panel's backup battery. But when they die, no power is detected from the panel, which causes this to sound. So, that's my video on why alarm systems go off in a power cut. So, you may hear, in the power cut, you may see quite a few of them ringing, and then after the power cut, you may see quite a few of them ringing. Now, occasionally, these bell boxes do have a circuit board in, and if the rain hasn't got in over all the 30 years they've been installed, these may go off in the power cut, but that only applies to a very few of these bell boxes that have a circuit board. So, that's it really, that's, that's why alarms go off in a power cut, because there's no power from the panel. So if your alarm goes off in a power cut, what you need to do is put a new backup battery in the panel and if your alarm goes off after the power cut you still need to put a new battery in the panel and that should resolve the problem now you can see I've got quite a collection of batteries here these are about 15 quid so um, not expensive not cheap but they do the job and they last five years and when they go flat they can be recharged but if you don't recharge them in time if you let them drain completely flat 
the cells in them get damaged and they can't be recharged. But if you recharge these when they've got a slight bit of power left, they will work. So you just have to maintain your burglar alarm and that will stop all the problems of why they go off in a power cut. Because people say, oh, I hate alarms, they always go off in a power cut. It's because people aren't maintaining them. So hopefully now you can resolve any problems you've got and I just sort of do this video to help people understand. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you later. Goodbye.